वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग सब्सक्राइब फॉर द वीडियो सेशंस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट हीट एंड मास ट्रांसफर दिस इज अ वीडियो सेशन ऑन गवर्निंग इक्वेशन फॉर रेक्टेंगुलर फिन हियर इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगुलर फिन दैट इज दैट इज अ एक्सटेंडेड सरफेस for the heat transfer so here this is a length of fin l this is a width of fin w here thickness of fin is a small t heat transfer which is taking place from the fin to the surrounding that is a q heat transfer by convection mode that is a qc temperature of fin at surface is capital t this is a surrounding atmospheric air temperature t infinity this is the base so here let us take a thin rectangular fin of uniform cross sectional area capital a in this this is a element small element having thickness dx or size dx at a distance x from the base so here in this case now we have assumptions first assumption is heat conduction is in x direction and it is a steady state means there is a no temperature change with respect to time within the fin there is no heat generation within the fin material is isotropic means thermal conductivity of the material in all direction is constant fin base temperature means at x is equal to 0 means at this point at the base is taken as t0 perimeter of a fin is taken as a p l is a length and uh, t infinity is atmospheric temperature so that already we have discussed now let us start to the differential equation for rectangular fin so we will have here first of all equation for heat entering into the element state that is qx that equation can be here heat entering into into the element that is given by qx means along x direction by fourier's law k into a means area perpendicular to direction of heat into temperature gradient means dt by dx see this is a say equation one now second equation heat conducted out of element at x plus dx distance at x plus dx distance means at this point q x plus dx so this heat is q x plus dx this will be equal to q x plus d by dx of q x into dx this we say as a equation number 
टू नाउ हिट कन्विक्टेड आउट ऑफ फिन दैट इज क्यू सी सो कॉन्वेक्शन फॉर्म्यूला इज एच ए इंटू डेल्टा टी नाउ हियर डी ए मीन्स एलिमेंटल एरिया दैट इज पी इंटू डी एक्स वेयर पी इज ऑलरेडी वी हेव मेन्शन पेरीमीटर एंड डी टी वी टेक टेम्परेचर डिफरन्स मीन्स टेम्परेचर ऑफ सरफेस टी माइनस टेम्परेचर ऑफ सराउंडिंग टी माइनस टी इन्फिनिटी सो क्यू सी विल बी इक्वल टू एच इन टू एरिया डी ए दैट इज इज एच इंटू डी ए इंटू डी टी डी ए पी डी एक्स इंटू दिस टेम्परेचर डिफरन्स सो दिस विल बी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नाउ वी विल हैव एनर्जी बैलेंस इक्वेशन एनर्जी बैलेंस इक्वेशन इन दैट दिस थ्री इक्वेशंस वी कैन राइट first will be what heat conducted into element that will be equal to heat conducted out plus heat conducted due to convection to convection so let us write energy balance equation so energy balance equation is equation here three equations we have so equation 1 is equal to equation 2 plus equation 3 means heat conducted into the element is equal to heat conducted out of the element plus heat conducted due to convection out of the element so here equation 1 is equal to equation 2 plus equation 3 so here qx is equal to qx plus d by dx of qx dx plus h p dx into t minus t infinity in this case here this qx and this qx will get cancel so remaining we can write here so this term we will take on the left side so minus sign will come now we know that qx is minus k fourier's law minus k into a into 
dt by dx into dx is equal to hp dx t minus t infinity here this dx dx get cancelled minus minus sign will become plus k and a are the constant k is a thermal conductivity area is not changing so will remain as it is d by dx of dt by dx will be what del square d square t divided by dx square is equal to hp t minus t infinity so let take t minus t infinity is equal to theta where t is a surface temperature and t infinity is a surrounding temperature now in this differentiate this equation with respect to x so we have dt by dx left side right side d theta by dx now second time differentiation that is second order derivative that is d square t by dx square is equal to d square theta by dx square say this equation as a equation for you now for the convenience of the solution we will take here h p by k a is equal to m square this is equation 6 so from equation 4 phi and 6 so equation 4 is uh, here this is equation 4 phi and 6 so from this we can have further equation d square theta by d x square is equal to m square theta so how did commit so here at the place of d square theta by dx square we have taken this d square theta by dx square so that's why it came here is equal to m square into theta theta is already written here equation 4 t minus t infinity that we have taken theta uh, m square we have taken for this so further this equation we will modify d square theta by dx square minus m square theta is equal to 0 equation number 7 this is second order differential equation now its general solution will be what theta is equal to c1 into e into mx e raised to mx plus c2 into e raised to minus mx this is equation 8 where c1 and c2 are constant values from boundary conditions these are to be obtained so solution of this 8 equation we will have here three cases so these three cases are case 1 is heat flow rate for infinite long fin case 2 will be heat flow rate from long fin with insulated tip end and case 3 is a short fin heat flow through short fin which lose heat by convection heat mode transfer so in this way these three derivations we will derive from the equation number 8 in the next video thank you